Hi boys and girls, I'm the reading teacher. Today, my school was shut down for three weeks because of the coronavirus. And I was thinking some of you may be feeling a little nervous or anxious or worried right now. Maybe your school has already closed. Maybe your mom and dad and teachers are talking about things that you're unsure about and you hear the news and it makes you feel nervous. And it's okay to feel scared and anxious and nervous and worried, especially at a time like this. When you feel like you don't have control over what's happening or you feel like this is something that you've never experienced before, so you're not sure how to handle what you're feeling. All completely normal feelings. And I just wanted to share a story with you. It's by Kevin Hinkus. It's a classic that I read to my students every year when we start the year. And it's called Wemberly Worried. Wemberly Worried by Kevin Hinkus. While I'm reading, I want you to see if you can connect to this character Wemberly in any way. Maybe you can make a connection to Wemberly when she's feeling nervous about school. Or maybe you can make a connection to Wemberly if she's feeling anxious about the playground. Maybe you connect to Wemberly because you have a lovey or a blankie or something that you do that helps calm you down. See if you can connect to Wemberly in any of those ways. Wemberly worried about everything. Big things. I wanted to make sure you were still here. <laughs> She opens up the door. Her mom and dad are sleeping. Little things. Oh, she spilled her cereal. And things in between. Mama, what if I shrink? Wimberly worried in the morning. She worried at night. And she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, worry, worry said her grandmother, too much worry. And can you see what sweatshirt the grandma is wearing? Go with the flow. Rollerblades with a cane. <laughs> At home, Wamberly worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on our home? And the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? and the noise the radiators made. What if there's a snake inside? At the playground, Wemberly worried about the chains on the swings and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. And always she worried about her doll pedal. Shouldn't Petal have a car seat too? Petal's lost forever. I found her, sweetie. I'll wait for you, Petal. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wemberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wemberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wemberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left. On her birthday, Wemberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. This is the best present ever. I wish I had my birthday today. But then Wemberly worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wemberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wemberly worried because she was the only one. Are you noticing a pattern here that Wemberly has to worry about something all the time? She worries about one thing and it turns out okay and she turns that into another worry. You worry too much, said her mother. 
When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Her grandmother's pointing to the sign that says, take it as it comes. Soon, Wimberly had a new worry, school. Wimberly worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. I loved school. But hearing that from her dad might not make her feel better. By the time the first day arrived, Wimberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? That is a lot of what ifs, isn't it? And notice how she starts with just one and it's really small and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And notice how Kevin Hankus uses the bigger font to write these last words. He really wants the reader to read them in a loud voice, which means this is something I'm really worried about. Do you have a what if that you worry about? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wemberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. Have fun. <laughs> Does that make you laugh? That makes me laugh. The grandma on rollerblades with a cane. While Wemberly's parents talked to the teacher, Mrs. Peachum, Wemberly looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, Wemberly, there's someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes. She was holding a doll. Can Wemberly connect to this new friend? At first, Wemberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wemberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wemberly. I rub her nose. Throughout the morning, Wemberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wemberly worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wemberly knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, called Mrs. Peachum as the students walked out the door. Wemberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. And I love that Wemberly is the one that's saying, don't worry, at the end of the story. Well, your worries might not go away and disappear just like Wemberly's when you find a friend that you can connect with, but it might help. It might help to find somebody that you can talk to about your worries. Maybe your mom, maybe your dad, Maybe you have a funny grandma like Wemberly that you could talk to about things that you're feeling. Maybe it is a friend and that's wonderful. I wanted to read this book so that you knew you're not alone. A lot of people worry. A lot of people get nervous and anxious and it's okay to talk to someone about that. Boys and girls, it's so fun to read stories with you. I hope this encourages you to check out some more of Kevin Hankus's work. He's one of my favorites. I'll see you soon.